Greetings, this is Gabriel Cepeda from Cisco Tax Service Provider Action Cable Team. MPLS LTP is one of the foundations of service provider networks and can be configured with two different IGPs, OSPF and ISIF. This video guides you through the configuration of MPLS LTP on an LCS540, when ISIS protocol is used as the IGP. To configure, first enable MPLS LDP globally with the command MPLS LDP and commit the changes. Then assign a router ID for LDP with the command router ID and commit the changes. Statically assigning a router ID is not mandatory, but it is a best practice to hard code the ID. Another best practice is to use the same ID for both the IGP and MPLS. The next step is to activate LDP on the interfaces where neighbor discovery is required. This can be done manually or automatically. Let us first review how to manually enable LDP. Inside the MPLS configuration mode, type the name of the interface they enable for LDP. For instance, interface 10 gigabit 00014. Then commit the changes. If you need to configure additional interfaces, exit the MPLS LDP interface configuration mode and type the name of the second interface being enabled for LDP. Repeat as many times as necessary, and do not forget to commit your changes when done. You can now check your configuration with the command show run MPLS LDP. You can verify the LDP neighbor discovery settings with the show MPLS LDP discovery command. Also, verify that neighbors are coming up and that labels are being exchanged between them with the show MPLS LDP neighbor brief command. As of now, you have successfully configured and enabled basic MPLS LDP. Now, let us review the auto configuration mode. Enabling LDP manually per interface can become time consuming and a source of error when using multiple interfaces. To enable LDP automatically, you can configure MPLS LDP autoconfig within your IGP configuration. The auto configuration command enables LDP for any interface within a given IGP. All the interfaces that you add on that IGP can auto enable LDP. Consider that you have pre-configured the next ISIF core process on your Cisco MCS540. First, enable MPLS and configure the router ID as previously shown. Commit your changes. Second, go into the ISIS configuration mode and then into the IPv4 Unicast address family configuration mode. While there, type MPLS LDP auto config and commit the changes. And that's it. Now, every interface that you add to this IGP process gets automatically enabled for LDP. To add an interface to your IGP, such as ISIS, get back to the ISIS configuration mode. Type the name of the interface being added, for example, 10 gigabit 00014. Then, activate the IPv4 Unicast address family with the address family IPv4 Unicast command. Finally, commit your changes. Your configuration now looks like this. You have now learned two different ways to configure basic MPLS LDP on Cisco IOS XR platform. Contact TAC support if you have any other questions or problems. Do not forget to check the TAC video portal for more information and videos. Thank you for watching.